Today I have a really exciting video. So Adobe just introduced this new media replacement feature for Essential Graphics and this works in both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how it works today. If you want you can download my After Effects project file as well as the Mogart template that I'm going to be putting together here. Alright so let's take a closer look at my project here. I've got this animated map marker and I basically want to be able to put an image inside of here and be able to quickly swap it out in both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. So what I've got going on is I've got the map marker, got a pre-comp here that is called image placeholder, and then I've got a mat. If I turn this on, you can see that I'm just using this as a luma mat for my image placeholder comp. Now if I open this up, I just have a basic shape layer in here. And now if I go and grab a photo, so if I go grab this photo of the Eiffel Tower, which I got from Envato Elements, I can quickly position this. And now if you go back to my map marker, you can see now I've got this really cool map marker here. So with this latest update to After Effects, I can now make this image replaceable and it's a really cool workflow. So the first thing I want to do is go to Window and go to Essential Graphics and I'm going to go and choose a composition here and I'm going to choose my main one which is Map Marker Image Callout. And if you've used this before, you know you can drag and drop uh, different properties here that you can use when you export out. Uh, your Mogart templates to Adobe Premiere Pro, or you can use it inside of Adobe After Effects via Essential Properties when you use pre-comps. Well now you can add not only photos, but you can add videos, Photoshop files, and Illustrator files. And I can even add this pre-comp here, so check this out. I'm just going to grab the image placeholder pre-comp and drop it in there. I've got this new property inside here. I'm going to rename it Photo. I can specify how I want the default scaling to handle. So if I were to, uh, you know, switch this out for another photo, it would automatically fit the bounds of that pre-comp. I could have it stretch. You don't want to set it to that unless you want it to, um, you know, distort your image. Or I can set it to no scale. I'm going to leave it um, on scale to fill. Now check out how cool this workflow is. I've got a comp of France. It's a map of France. I'm going to open this one up. And now I'm going to go back and grab my map marker image callout. Simply drop it in here. So now I've got this. And now before I place this, I'm going to swap out the image. So if I go here, um, I've got all these different pictures. So let's go and grab the French baguette. So how do we swap this out? Well, if I open this pre-comp here, you're going to see the essential properties. I'm going to open this up and here we can see photo. All I need to do is simply grab this, drag and drop it directly on this parameter and it's going to swap that out. But if you look over here, you now see a subfolder called media replacement comps. And I have this new comp here. So what it does is it automatically creates this comp. What's so cool about that is that makes this extremely versatile in how we can duplicate it and just the overall general workflow. Now let's say I want to move this photo, I can simply double click on it and it's going to open up that comp. And now I can simply, you know, drag this over to how I want it. Let's look over here. If I want it to be, I think both of those look good, both of those, if it's off to the side or whatever, that's looking good. So now um, I can just grab this, quickly scale it. You know, if I was really rigging this up, I would want it to scale from the, the bottom of the marker point, but I'm just quickly showing you some of these features here. And now I've got this marker here cool and I can quickly do another one just by dragging in another one and if I open this one up I've got the same setup I can grab another photo let's see and now I can scale this one down put it somewhere else and I can do this as many times as I want this one's kind of offset so I'll double click this one but you can see how good this is with scale to fit this is much better before with the first one when I manually inserted the photo of the Eiffel Tower, I had to scale it and move it around. This one's, um, you know, quite a bit faster, so let's uh, close these now. And again, if I had these fully rigged up to where the anchor points were properly set, this would be a breeze to set all this stuff up. Now let's check out the Premiere Pro workflow. To make this work in Premiere Pro, I'm going to export the motion graphics template. I'll quickly add some keywords. I'm going to call this map marker with photo. Okay. And now let's head over to Premiere Pro. All right, so here's my Premiere Pro project. I'm going to go and open up Window and choose Essential Graphics. That's going to launch the panel. And now when I exported that Mogart from After Effects, it should have sent it directly to my um, local folder and added it to my collection. So I'm going to just search here in the Browse tab under Map Marker. And here it is, Map Marker Image Callout. Now all I need to do is click and drag that over. And here we go. Let's take a look at it. Now when I click on the layer and I go to the edit tab, I can see all of my new parameters here. This is super cool. I'm so happy that they added this option. I can simply drag and drop photos from my photos here, or I can click on the menu tab and I can actually even replace 
from Explorer so I can find images on my local drive and pull them directly from there. Now it looks like it's just, um, it's not allowing me to move my original photo that I used inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what happens when I replace this. I'm gonna go grab one here, let's grab a picture. As I drag it over the, the panel here, you can see that it gives me the name of the photo as well as this little symbol here. I'm gonna drop that over. And now when I double click on it, it actually brings me to what's looking like a pre-comp or a nested comp, and it has these controllers here, which is really cool. I can click and actually move it around and you know fine tune tweak it. I can do some rotation to it here, and I can change the scaling of it. This is so cool. Now I can click on the close button here. And I gotta admit, it's not the fastest. Now I have scale controls. I can also tweak the position here of the photos. So if I wanna make subtle changes here, I'm not a big fan of this particular layout because it's quite slow. I, I do like how you can double click and go into that pre-comp or that nested comp. That's very, very cool. And I can even change the settings here. So if it stretches to fill, that's gonna give you that stretch look. I can have no scale, but this is a really huge photo. So you're seeing how terrible that actually looks. Now to move this around, I can go up to effect controls and with the layer selected, I can um, physically move it around. As I said before, I should have rigged this up. You know, if I had more time, I would rig this up with all the controls in the essential graphics panel to move it around. Okay, so there you have it. Let me know what you think of this new feature down in the comment section. I personally really love this. I feel like I'm gonna be using this a lot. I'm gonna be putting together some templates. I'm also probably gonna be using it on some personal freelance projects. If you want to download the files, I'm going to make the After Effects project available as well as the Mogart template. You will not, however, find these photographs in the free downloads. These are all from Envato Elements. If you want to sign up for Envato Elements, please use my affiliate link down in the video description. You can pick up some of these cool assets that you see here. And once again, if you enjoyed the tutorial, you want to check out more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.